Just on the radio there, I may hear them say we're due to face the, um, uh, the circumstances of climate change, which will mean we're going to be in for more dry weather. More dry weather. Because that's definitely what we've got over the past year. So, yeah. Make of that as you will. I'll throw off the radio here and we'll do a, a bit of talking about what we're at. So I'm just waiting for the oil to drain out of the axle there. As you can see, I put it up in a little stand. I actually made that little thing there for throwing pickup hitches on the tractors. It works for some ones and it don't work for other ones. I'll have to redesign it. I made it in the space of about three minutes, so there's nothing fancy or technical about it at all at all. But the axle is sitting up on it and that's one handy thing of it. So, like I say, I'm draining the oil out of the axle. Thanks be to God, there was no metal or bits came out. I hate when you rip those drain plugs and bits of the large chunks of steel start coming out at <laughs> you. Oh, I hate that. No, the oil is spotless. You can probably even see it there. So, no problem on that score. We'll leave it drain away there now and we'll rip the diff out of it, which also uh, brings out the ram. The ram comes with the diff. We don't need to do anything to the ram, but we are going to. I'm going to get my mechanic to put new seals in the diff because. The diff lock pipe is, was already off of the tractor and that's normally a telltale sign that there was a leak inside there. So we're going to do that there now while we're at, uh, at everything else. Right, so the rem has to come out to get the diff out. So you know I need to, I need to shove the rem across, pull out the rem and then remove all the balls to get the diff out and all that. But, uh, the ram is seized in there because obviously it's never been taken out so it's taken a fair punishment to get the ram out now but uh, oh, we're getting there I've track rods in pulled off of one side here as you can see obviously that was on there like that I had a bit of box iron um, with a plate welded onto it for what well, purpose I don't know but kind of to keep bits of steel like that whenever you need them uh, so basically when I'm doing this, I'm standing behind it there, I'm beating that to get the uh, ram across and ram will come out. So it's uh, kind of like, it's one of these things that's tricky enough on their own, but... So it's going to take a small bit more persuasion. I have to tap it out there with a the hammer and a punch. We have no superficial damage on the ram, so it should just tip away out there. But as you can see, it was absolutely welded in there. Sometimes you need to go gently, gently, and all the time you need to just keep these things a good back. Get them out. So that's that out. That's the ram. Now I can clean that and I can remove the diff. Oh, I'm always in trouble. So, I'll show you. I'll take the camera up. It's the easiest thing to do. The bush in here was warden. 
and we'd already given a look at that. So I needed to remove that. I thought it might fit out over that, but it doesn't. So I've that ripped already just as a, a fail safe. There's two bolts holding on this little housing here onto the splines. That sea is solid. So I might have to pull that, but at least I have this bushing off now anyway. I can cut it, worst case scenario, if I need more room. To get in there, but I had to weld the bush to get it to move because it was just sea solid on there. So that's a little trick for you all. If you're ever trying to get off a, a bushing or a bearing race that's welded solid in where it is, weld onto it, keep welding it. Don't blow a hole in it, obviously, but uh, keep welding it and eventually it'll expand from the heat, start hitting it and it'll come off so that took a bit of persuasion on that one but it's off anyway and i've new ones ordered so new bush there as well and we're able to get at the bolts in our diff now so that's it for this evening i'm gonna call it a night so i've a lot of the bolts removed there and i'm gonna give it a small cap now see what it come out i hope it's not an unmerciful way that i'll be able to lift it hopefully Everyone, I'll end up holding the ground. Dow's holding it there as well. It's coming a small bit, I just shove in a bear, but see can I get it to come away a bit more. Right, so in my stupidity, I didn't even think about pulling the two shafts out. Obviously, the two shafts had to come out of the diff, be able to get the diff out. So uh, I just, it, I thought of it last night, I pulled one out with a bit of a job to get the other one out, but they're out now, and the diff should be able to just come straight out to me, I would say. And I think there's one more hole walk it out on the bolts. There we go. which isn't damaged in any way, shape or form, but what there is, and I don't 100% understand 
or I'm sorry, it's not that I don't understand, but I don't know where they are. They're seals, so when you engage your diff lock, which the pipe of it is coming in here so far, when you engage your diff lock, obviously it locks this some form of a hydraulically. So I'm going to drop this to our mechanic. I'm going to get him to rip it up and uh, put new seals on it. And that'll be another job. Um, that would be, you know, getting there with. So, yeah, that's the next step. Drop the diff to him, and I can start cleaning all this axle, doing a few other bits and pieces, and getting it ready for painting. It's going to be pretty easy painting on the strip like this. I'll get a good, uh, a good paint finish on it. So, yeah, another job successfully completed.